I recently just purchased a 2020 MacBook Pro and today I want to do some tests against my old 2015 MacBook Pro, mainly the rendering times on Final Cut Pro, which is the program that I use uh, most of the time to edit my videos. I want to see which is faster, the 2020 MacBook Pro or my old 2015 model. First of all, I'm just going to do like a quick render in the timeline to see what that is. And then I'm going to export the video and compare that and then maybe do some like 4K tests. But this is just like a 1080 um, drone clip from a GoPro. So let's select the uh, video range like that. Hold option, press R at the same time. And let's see what renders quicker. Let's bring up the... Uh, Let's bring up this. Okay, so the 2021 is at 5%, 6%, 7 while the 2015 is still on 3%, so it's not looking... So, yeah, it's looking good. The 2020 is, at the moment, faster. Double as fast, which I didn't think it was, but this is proving it, which is good. Okay, so the 2020 MacBook Pro has finished rendering that video clip and the 2015 MacBook Pro is still on 42% of rendering that clip. So this is more than double as, as fast, which is, which is nice to know because on just normal playback, there's not mu that much difference. But yeah, I'm super impressed with that and I'm, I'm actually kind of happy because I had my doubts that this just like wasn't as good as it should be. Let's do a 4K clip. I want to see what 4K rendering times are. Okay, so we have the exact same uh, drone clip. Let's render these in the timeline. Oops, wrong button. Why do I keep forgetting? There we go. Okay, the 2020 is finished. 2015 isn't even halfway. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to render this 4K clip out into the H.264 video codec and let's see which one wins. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to, let's just put them on desktop. Okay, three, two, one, go. 20%, 0 0%, 50%, 0%, 60, 70. Okay, the map, the, oh, okay. 2015 is catching up, 30%, 80%, 40%. Okay, 2020 is done and the 2015 is still on 50%. That's another win for the 2020 model. I will put the stats of both of the computers um, up on the screen just to show you which um, stats I have. So yeah, I think the clear winner is the 2020 uh, MacBook Pro, and it really shows in the rendering times. When I'm editing on the 2020 version, I don't actually see much of a difference compared to the uh, 2015 model. Like when you're just doing normal editing, playing back without rendering, cutting and adding effects and stuff like that, there's actually not that much difference. And that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.